Next Wave DB's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Tony here from Next Wave DV, and I'm here with Kadir from Edelkrone, and you guys have some incredibly unique camera rigs that are making a lot of splash here, so why don't you tell us a little bit about them? Well, right now I have my double shoulder setup, which is unique and one of its kind. Uh, right now, you cannot see it, of course, I'm, I haven't opened it. It looks very much like a uh, classical front and back balanced rig right now, but in a second it will turn into a uh, side-to-side -side balance rig. It's really easy to convert it to other one. As you see, it opens up and now it's ready uh, to go on both of my shoulders. Uh, with this way, I've distributed the weight on both of my shoulders, so it's really a healthier, uh, better way to carry especially um, high loads of you know, uh, camera equipment on your body. Uh, the center of gravity is really somewhere around, uh, somewhere in my neck, very close to my spine. Uh, so I, I, can have, I can achieve really smooth pans because when I turn quickly sideways, the, the gear is not trying to ex escape from me. It's, it's, it's really stable. I can go really uh, hands-free with it. And as I said, if you don't like this complicated look, and if you really want to have this rig on and off you all the time, you, uh, you can just turn it back, I mean, close it down and have it, have it as a classical single shoulder setup instantly. Why don't you also demonstrate the follow focus system you have? Well, our follow focus system has a belt system inside, so it's really unique. It gives you real different flexibility options uh, compared to the rest of the follow focuses in the market. Uh, this, or, this follow focus can operate with different angles with no problems, and when you remove it and twist and turn it uh, 180 degrees and replace it, uh, now it's for Nikon lenses. It has its own reverse, practical reverse solution in it as well. Uh, it's, it's a snap to readjust, position it, and attach it uh, back in. And so also we managed to reposition the controller uh, from here to there, so it's kind of closer and easier for your hand to reach uh, because it's, it gets really complicated around these areas. As you see, I have these cables interrupting. So I, we got this controller really uh, in a clear, easy to reach space. This is, we, we find this really important. I can get from my handle to my follow focus much quicker without any accidents or you know, problems. Now, what about shooters that want to maintain a smaller profile when shooting? Exactly. Uh, well, we have a twister uh, shoulder setup for them because this uh, is great on your shoulder. It gives you the front and back balance as you like it, but sometimes you don't have that ex extra space. You have to work real close to, to such places. Then you twist it and then you get it back on your shoulder. You have extra room there and also this way you can make the whole thing closer to your body. This is great for low shots. I can reach easily to, to my controls, to my follow focus. Otherwise, it would be just like that. It will be far away. It will be a burden for my back to work long minutes like this. Other, other thing about this is that um, when I carry this this way, it's like pulling backwards a bit too much. So it's also a great comfort to carry it this way because the center of gravity is right in the middle of this top handle right now. So this is our practical solution and it's instantly there. Another thing is it's really quick to uh, attach and detach our counterbalance weights. They're really snapping on top of each other quickly and it's just it doesn't take any time at all. Now I understand that your rigs also work for larger cameras as well. Exactly, and when it comes to larger cameras, we give the option of not having rods. Uh, as you see, it's not a compulsory thing to have rods, follow focus, and you know handles because this camera has already its own own hand strap. 
I think this is the per perfect way to handle your camera. Uh, pe people really prefer that option. This, as you see, I'm using my camera as I should be, as it's designed to be. I'm not inventing some extra needs because I really not, don't need them. Only thing I need for this camera setup is a proper stabilization and like you know balanced approach because I really have to be I, I have to be able to carry this on my body for long periods of time. Right right now you see again front and back balance is achieved, but as usual our double shoulder setup is ready here as well. Let me get it for you. And now, by the way, this double shoulder setup is really solid. It's, it's just very solid. You can trust it. It's, it never fails you. It's really, I mean, uh, military grade stuff. And as you see, it's really balanced on my body, and it it feels really light. I'm not. All, I'm almost not lifting it up. It's, it's there. I can, of course adjust the counterbalance weights easily right now i have really balanced load on my body i can really go much more than anyone in the world with this camera right now we also have something real small for photographers actually because photographers suddenly find this video feature amazing video feature in their dslr cameras they want to have a go with it they want to try what it feels like to shoot video but all of a sudden when they search on the internet, they look around, they see all those bulky, heavy, chunky solutions and they get scared, they decide not to go that way. So we try to encourage them with this small pocket rig. Actually, this is how small it is. As you see, it's not bigger than a battery grip. It attaches under your DSLR and it then it opens up and turns into this shoulder uh, rifle type press, press uh, stabilizer thing. So it, the bonus about this rig is uh, it has rods hidden inside. So you can remove those rods and attach them in the front so you can have follow focus, matte box if you have short enough lenses of course, and handles to go with it. You can really go more professional in the front. Uh, uh, the other way, the other use of these rods is you can remove them and attach the other way and you really increase the area that you get on your sh chest. This really is much more stable, of course. I need to get this off too because I don't have a full focus right now. Yeah, just like this. This is really amazingly comfortable. It also has this extra adjustment angle. This can also turn into an on-table type of monopod. Yeah, the, if you are using an eyepiece, a, a viewfinder piece there, you can also achieve great stabilization with that because you can decrease the distance and get, get it exactly as you like it and get stable shots. And as I said, when you're done with it, it's in your pocket, it's in your bag, just like this, ready for the next shot. There's some really great designs. I'm glad to see what you guys are doing. Thank you. Thanks a lot. For more information, where can people go to check you out? Well, people can go to edelkrone.com and that will be the, all the information will be. We, all, we will also have our YouTube channel too very soon. Well, thanks for your time, Kadir. Thank you too. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.